everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day Harder Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, guys, I'm your favorite fantastic day of the most amazing variety. And today we return, and today we got some very awesome stuff to go in and take a look at. Boom, what you guys are seeing right here was that video that actually went over a couple of days ago that is kind of detailing a little bit of a tease, a little bit of a sneak peek into the Christmas slash winter update. Now, given the fact that they have posted this trailer again a couple of days ago, that means usually that the update is very very close so given the patterns that we've seen in the past from this type of stuff my best guess would be this week that we can expect this and we did actually notice a couple of interesting things from here including dual wielding melee weapons and on top of it a couple of new guns and attachments like active skill mod attachments that those two soldiers at the end were actually holding on to including what appears to be the m416 gun and some sort of like as some people are saying that's like an sks like it's going to be some sort of like longer range rifle that one that the soldier in the back is holding but boom what i want to go in and take a look at is something that a lot of you guys were pointing out that i want to go ahead and address on the topic of active skill mods because it turns out that there's a possibility that there were not active skill mods just available on those uh whatchamacallit on those guns at the end that the military officers had them on what we are seeing here is actually as you can see a character with a bow and once you take a close enough look at the bowstring i think this is where you guys could see it it's it's kind of noticeable in this screenshot but there is a little bit of like a yellowish type tint to the bowstring now this one might be a little bit harder to see but if you guys are looking closely and it's just gonna be hard to see because the bowstrings are usually so thin but that is the type of color that would match it up to the active skill mod bowstring that is gonna be associated with that now this one like I'm saying this one might not be as obvious and here's the thing every other weapon that we've seen that they have shown off has included some form of an active skill mod so that's why i'm giving this one the benefit of the doubt and the fact that it's kind of noticeable from this angle that there could be some yellow tint to it this is the active skill mod bowstring which brings me back to what type of active skill could this active skill mod potentially have in this forthcoming christmas slash winter update that they are teasing where it does appear that active skill mods will be making an appearance given how often and how prevalent they are in this little teaser trailer they had in this trailer being connected to that upcoming christmas update update through literally what they said about it so when it comes down to it there are two main things that this bowstring could be doing that i want to go ahead and break down because when it comes to a bow and arrow there's only so much that an, of an active skill that you could have an active skill being kind of like a skill you could activate via a button that probably needs to regenerate every certain once in a while and when it comes to the bow there are two main things that come to mind that would be very easy to implement given the fact that they already kind of exist in last day on earth and that would be either shooting flaming arrows or explosive arrows why do i say this well because if you think about it the flare gun is already technically kind of a form of shooting fire where you shoot a projectile which then leaves the target lit upon fire so we could very well be having this bowstring be the bowstring that allows you to have like send a flaming arrow which would be absolutely dope there's also an explosive arrow possibility because well we've seen the grenade launcher in action which literally allows you to shoot a projectile which then blows up on a group of enemies so those are two main candidates and then there is the potential that it could just be a little bit more on the boring side and maybe be like a guaranteed critical hit for example or like maybe triple damage since it would be an active skill and you already have a chance at making criticals so it could kind of lean a couple of those ways but given the fact that criticals are kind of already incorporated into the weapon system and like the critical chance and everything I don't think that that will be the case and boom let's go and take another peek over here at this guy who is having that dual wielding which might very well be a skill in this forthcoming update like i was saying but i want you guys to go ahead and take a look at that weapon at his right hand that is the exact type of blade that matches up to the machete active skill mod blade and notice that it is within his right hand the hand that we usually utilize when we are using a melee weapon and so this is where that dual wielding might kind of come into play and that little machete blade well there's a couple of possibilities for the active skill mod potentially some sort of like uh super strong hit that's always possible potentially a hit that causes bleeding kind of similar to a flare similar to being on fire where you take a little bit of damage over time but from what we're seeing here the fact that it's in this dominant hand that your player would normally use the weapon that they have in they swing with their right hand makes me think that that is the weapon he has a 
equipped and then you can actually activate its active skill which allows you to dual wield and that is why the non-active skill mod machete is over within his other hand so some interesting stuff over there that I'm, and i want to go ahead and give you guys a little bit more details upon a couple of small details that i did miss but you guys had the wonderful eyes to go ahead and point out and on top of it all the fact that there's just such prevalence of active skill mods and like most every frame within this teaser just makes it even more assured that it does appear that they will be within this christmas update which has me incredibly hyped because kafir is teasing these and it's going to be such a big update because these are going to be pretty much the best mods because they won't just be increasing the stats of whatever weapon you're rocking they are also going to be giving you access to certain skills and i cannot wait to get my grubby little fingers upon said skills but with that said with that done that's going to wrap it up for the information that we got for today go and let me know what you guys think though especially regarding those two active skill mods that we did see do you think that the bowstring is going to be something like an explosive arrow a flaming arrow or maybe just like a guaranteed headshot or something like that for example that does a lot of critical damage i'm definitely leaning towards some kind of special arrow because that'd be super cool to see it give the bow such an awesome and fun purpose and it wouldn't even be too difficult to implement due to the fact that it kind of already exists in other weapons like the flare gun like the grenade launcher and oy vey, let's take down this lad in his shotgun rain so i can go ahead and claim a little bit for myself and mow down the rest of this chopper event and today we're gonna we are going to be going on a raid as well and if you guys didn't catch the memo just the other episode we turned our off-road bike we also got ourselves another c4 through traversal of last downer so bless up to that but like i was saying we managed to get this up to eight raiding slots which makes us the dream raiding bike because we can take home the most loot possible with this configuration so very excited to do a little bit of raiding with that but for now i'm just excited to go ahead and get my grubble or fingers on the rest of what this has to offer also i wasn't expecting the chopper to be here so i kind of well didn't have my inventory prepared for this i was kind of filled with raiding stuff i was ready to go out on that raid pretty much asap but listen if there's a chopper event we gonna be taking advantage of it lads and lassies and after all we do have a whole ton of storage room over here to go ahead and put some stuff away into so we could definitely do that and store the valuables like i'm saying let me know what you guys think regarding the bowstring and what your thoughts are around it what you think what type of active skill mod it might be what it might do and definitely now that we know that there is an active skill mod upon one of the machetes in the dominant hand of the guy dual wielding your guys's thoughts around that because that could be a major hint towards the ability being in like the active skill mod ability being the ability to dual wield machetes because that would just be absolutely insane that'd be a freaking slice factory dude we'd be looking like a freaking polish deli and that would make me a quite the expert deli slicer because in case you guys don't know i am on the polish side of things so uh well i'm just saying i'm about to be the most qual we're gonna be running the greatest deli across all of last day on earth they will fear us for our sliced up meats unfortunately we're not gonna be slicing up ham or anything like that let's freaking go we're gonna be slicing up some body parts of our adversaries so uh not as appetizing unless you're a cannibal in which case uh you you do you man just please stay away from me i i'm you might be a cool guy i'm I, i'm just not trying to uh, befriend a cannibal here that could end up very poorly for a variety of reasons but like i'm saying let me know what you guys think regarding the bowstring and that and the machete and if you do not like I, at the same time here's the other thing with the machete right it might just be and this is the other possibility i think it might be either the active skill mod and the skill that associated with that is what lets us dual wield or we also have a convoy over there to run over to eh, i'm a little bit tempted eh, eh, eh. all right we're, we'll make a pit stop off at home really quickly drop some stuff off head over there then we'll uh loop around finalize do a little bit of a raid and enjoy the view from there the other possibility that i was talking about was that there could just be more skills coming to the game as well because we have seen kafir actually expand on a lot of existing systems i went over this a little bit more in depth in the past but we've seen them expand upon the vehicle system with the chopper adding in this entire interface they expanded upon the modding system they're about to be expanding upon it again but we haven't seen an expansion 
expansion on the skill system ever since the first time it was expanded upon and there are a variety of locations now like the motel like the gas station like a bunch of those and also hold on let's just go ahead and very quickly finalize this raid and see who the poor schmuck getting raided today is going to be but there's a variety of new locations that don't have any skills or perks associated with them so we are definitely primed and it is possible for there to be more skills to be coming as well based on the track record we've seen from kafir based on a lot of the things that it appears are going to be expanding upon within this update it's just a lot of stuff pointing towards interest and in things like that so that is definitely another possibility and if that's the case then the active skill associated with the machete might be different so like i'm saying there's a variety of things that it could tie into go ahead and let me know what you guys think regarding it all you guys have heard my thoughts feel free to build off of my thoughts feel free to go ahead and let me know your guys' own individual thoughts maybe anything else that we haven't noticed any tricky things that kafir has sprinkled in that we maybe have not caught whiff of anything and all of it i am looking forward to hearing and a reminder that that comment is to put you one third of the way it's the weed tribe dollar at two such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe then let us show you what on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls out ah! ah hold on saturday will roll around eventually for now we gotta kill this raider i was not expecting that oh no 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 when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that's it will you widow for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information not to mention that you win your machete stay back mr raider not to mention oh nice he actually dropped the machete I like Raider that drops his weapon. I am a fan of these. Thank you, please. I like. Thank you, thank you. But, uh... It's a great way to stay up to date with all that information, not to mention us breaking down the information and seeing more of like what might be behind it. Because a lot of times when Kafir does release information, there is more than meets the eye. And we're always trying to get to the bottom of it. Not just me as a community and seeing what things we can decipher about the forthcoming updates and all of the hype. Because, uh, well, I'm not sure you guys know, I'm ridiculously hyped for a lot of these upcoming updates. And not to mention, we still have the big picture updates, such as the freaking oh baby the atv and swamp update that one is going to be major it's going to add in like an entirely new portion of the map out west it is going to be wild and it's just it's it's going to be so much fun and on top of that when those updates do come out you know we're going to be covering them to the fullest extent by doing anything and everything that we can showing off the absolute wildest things that they have to offer such as with this chopper update that recently came out well in case you guys don't know let's freaking go that's the figure i'm looking for in case you guys don't know we've leveled up our chopper the off-road bike to max as i showed off just a little bit ago and not just that we're also in the middle of unlocking the military motorcycle we unlock the crazy to unlock police bike and we're in the midst of leveling that up to its max level we're always checking out anything and everything that we can about these bad boys so a great reason to go ahead and stick around for exactly that not to mention the notification bell is a great way of staying up to date with every single video y'all can enter on for that weekly giveaway head of course all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well if you guys haven't already today might be a prime day to go ahead and take a peek at that little thing known as seven days to die off of 17 and i'm just over here trying to double check that we did grab everything so sorry this one's taking a sec we're gonna be raiding right after this but alpha 17 today we got attacked by the most horrifying part of the game the horde that comes every seven days we built up our defenses and i don't want to spoil anything it was probably the hardest horde i have ever tackled because the new update added a whole ton of difficulty and made the game harder than ever before with a ton of changes they made the zombies like harder and smarter it's and it was just an awesome time man it was super enjoyable so i think you guys might enjoy it. just want to just want to let you know about it you know i know the games like grim soul survival that we're checking out which got a huge update we're also gonna make a pit stop to this airdrop because why not and then we'll engage in the raid but stuff like that, Desert Storm Survival, you know, the whole works, but enough of the shameless plug. Let's go to the shameless killing and then the shameless raiding, which I know we're all looking forward to just a little bit. Oy vey. We got to go ahead and get past some of these dudes. I'm hoping to get past. Actually, here's what we could do. We do have access to a couple of very good melee weapons here. Just, just. Oh, God dang it. This guy noticed us. Well, the good news is we could go ahead and sawblade mace him and not have to worry about him literally one bit. 
although he has been sliced into multiple bits, but that's something that he's gonna have to worry about, not us. And then we can take this opportunity, whip out a couple of the weapons, such as the machetes, and slice and dice these dudes to sneak attack victory as we make our way over to the central airdrop crate. And once this is ours, after this sneaky dicky toxic spitter decides to attack us, you dingus, we can see what the airdrop contains. Crossing my fingers, no way, no way, no way, no way, no give me some good, please, 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 please. Let's freaking go, we're getting an engine part today. Lads and lassies, that is a very nice thing to get a hold of. And speaking of holding on to things, please excuse me. Uh, we gotta go ahead and, uh, well, I just wanna thank this airdrop. I want to give it some vitamin p from the bottom of my heart sincere thank yous and also from the bottom of my bladder i suppose <laughs> give me some of that please and thank you and i do have a ton of transistors back at home so i'll leave those behind pick those up oy vey get out of here you roman zombie you and your increased distance Blah. that's another thing dude i see you the next update they do fix that up because i do think that that's a glitch i don't think that the zombies new range in this update is supposed to be a feature i don't think that that was done on purpose that might have been some sort of change from it so hopefully in the next update we will be seeing a patch to that if and so and when that happens i'll be keeping y'all in the loop for that but for now there's one thing we're staying in the loop on thank you for all of these events dude look at this this is what i love about the map nowadays i know i mention this every once in a while but i just love how much stuff is going on around here we got locations like the motel the police station the farm populating all these areas that used to be absolutely empty still hoping that the shipwreck and smugglers can't return someday still crossing my fingers to this very day uh my fingers are getting a little bit tired from all the crossing though because it has been quite a minute of crossing to say the least but yeah man it's just so awesome seeing the map so densely packed and having just so much potential stuff to do like you gotta admit it just this is a lot better than when it was a lot emptier because i just like the variety and options it gives to each and every player depending on where they are different locations to check out locations specializing in different stuff like right now the gas station is kind of my favorite location because well it's the location that's going to be getting us our chopper nice and leveled up but uh we're gonna go ahead and get our inventory story nice and organized and then well we are going to be going on a little thing known as a raid so i'll talk to y'all in a sec and cup peek at our inventory we're ready for this raid let's just go god dang it dude i have this one gas canister i just want to put into this freaking motorcycle but it's not happening right now there we go dude i it, it just throws me oh and we got to go and put these two things away but uh, as you guys can see we got all that c4 to work with and we are going to be putting it to very very good use with the single best chopper that we can for our raid in event avengers no endeavors that's the word i was looking for so hello mr base we're coming after I hope you're ready because there's about to be a whole ton of... Well, I'm not going to say death. There might be death. It's probably not you going to be dying. We usually don't find people at raids. They usually just, well, zombies. So we're going to be finding some zombies. And we're going to be spreading death upon them. But this this guy's going to come back. He's going to be like, oh my god. Why did all these zombies die? And then he's going to be like, oh my god. My walls, they are gone as well. And then he'll be like, oh my god. My loot. It has to be stolen, and it does appear that this base actually seems oddly familiar. Am I tripping, or have we raided this base actually really recently? I feel like we have, which is the really weird part. Oh, I don't think we have, because I don't remember finding anything decent in any pickup trucks as of late. Maybe I just didn't check out that pickup truck, but it does appear that today's raid is going to be requiring a hefty dosage of the C4, which we do have brought to you by our marvelous misadventures that I do over in my own free time. And let's go ahead and honestly, there's a door saying welcome, so allow me to uh, knock and I'll, I'll show myself the way in. I know the way. I, I know how to open a door properly. Bada bing, bada boom. And we are within with uh, a variety of chests so it does appear that we're gonna have a good amount of stuff to choose from again a little bit of a reminder that we have even more storage let's freaking go and we're getting some semi-decent things we're gonna have a lot of storage to play with which is gonna be really good we're also whoop, 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 whoop. we got a lot of these zombies to go ahead and take down so let's do that really quickly one of these pistols will actually break this one should be breaking during the next wave so we'll be able to take advantage of that but we do have all those slots in our chopper six free slots not accounting for our c4 that we have over there that we could go ahead and uh, fill up with some very nice stuff. 
And then that nice stuff, the raiders won't know we got, which is really good because that means they'll be asking for even less of their quote unquote fair share. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be totally fair raiders. No more, just don't worry about to the chopper. Don't worry about what's in there, okay? Okay, glad we're at a common understanding here. But with these raids that we continue struggling through today, we didn't get raided. We lost the skull, but there was no raid accompanying that skull loss, which was a pretty big bummer because, well, we kind of want to start getting those revenge raids because revenge raids are the ultimate thing that we could hope for, but they are not. Ooh, aluminum plate. They are not happening at the moment. We went down from two skulls down to one. We have been revenge raided before at two skulls, except last time it happened, they took my AK and didn't leave any footsteps. I was rather heated about that. You don't just steal an AK without leaving footsteps, except for these expert raiders that decided to bless our base. And oh boy, am I feeling blessed after that. Super blessed, 10 out of 10 blessed. Oh, well, let's make sure that they don't hit that noise trap either. That is another bad thing that could potentially plague us. Let's go ahead and spread some death to these dudes. Hopefully some critical hits as well. Let's back it up from those. Hopefully we got enough pistol to get through the rest of this raid as well. I think that we should, should not to be too big of a worry go ahead and play a little bit of ring around the rosy around the pickup truck always nice to do because these dudes uh, they can't climb over it man they don't have the uh not acrobatics what's the word i'm looking for parkour i don't know how i why i was thinking of acrobatics man we all know that parkour is the ultimate in acrobatics it's got people freaking jumping on buildings and stuff hardcore parkour baby that's the only way to go and of course a whole ton of shock and rain you can definitely always go with some shock and rain Pretty hard to go wrong with that, but pretty hard for us to, I, I don't know, man. I Pretty hard for us to make this raid get better? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't know if it's gonna be getting better than this because it does seem that we got into his best chest. We're still getting some decent stuff out of the other chest, but I don't think that like there's gonna be much better stuff awaiting because this one seemed to pretty much have the best stuff. I mean, that might be changed in here. We did just break into this one, which didn't have anything too major. There are a couple more of these bigger chests. It does look like the bigger chests had the better loot. So let's cross our fingers that these two over here are higher than something kind of per- eh, And eh, I mean, it's decent. It's mad though. Oh, that's another thing though. Since the chopper update is now out, we will be able to uh, cross our fingers here and hope that we can walk out of here with maybe some parts to trade to the mechanic. I let's go a stack of those. We're getting a lot of oak out of this raid, but we might very well be able to walk out of here with uh, a lot of mechanic things that we could go ahead and then trade, which I mean, it wouldn't be the best thing in the world. I do prefer getting other things like gaunts, steel, electronic circuits, maybe some floppy disks, but listen, I'm not going to complain if we could get our hands on something like that either. And let's go ahead and put away these valuables, make sure that they do not know if we have acquired such things. I, I think they might value the aluminum plate more than a couple red tickets too, so I'll toss I kind of swap those two in and out. We'll probably break that recycler at some point. I'm a little bit worried that this pistol might not be enough for what we're trying to do. In which case, we got a saw blade mace we could go ahead and use. A little bit of drink we could go ahead and drink on up. I do believe he had... Where's the food? Where is the food, my oh, that is The beans! Ah, yes. The beans. Nothing more trustworthy than those. And, uh, well, we've gotten through these two things and they're... They're meh. Eh, eh, you know, like it's okay, but we all know it could be better than okay, but at least it's not not okay because not okay raids are not okay. Okay, okay, ooh, baby. I like, whoop, 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 whoop. don't like what I'm seeing here. Let's evacuate that a little bit. And all right, we want to take out all the fast dudes first. So this is why I like to run away from the horde because then that gives the fast biters time to separate from the bigger dudes since they are a little bit on the slower side. Let's activate our sprint and let's try to take these guys out with some nicely timed critical hits. And as soon as they fall, is the fast biter dead? Nope. Now nah, he's dead. As soon as they fall, it comes down to us and the big boys. And ooh, refining forge as well. It doesn't come down to that, but that refining forge does have my interest I do want to break into it. It could have some good stuff. I like the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, we all like the good stuff. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Can I get a couple of criticals over here on this abomination now so I can at least take him out? Maybe, 
Come on. Nope, but we did have enough to go in and take him out that way. So let's go ahead and start slicing and dicing upon these dudes. I hate the little, like, slowdown timer we got on the saw blade mace. I'm just trying to get separation from these guys, god dang it. Okay, no, that separation tactic is not working right now. Maybe if we, like, hit him across from here. Eh, that one helped out a little bit. Boop! Nice! It took him out nice and easy. We got a couple of guys over here to thin out. And this guy's gonna have, like, three health. God dang it, missed that one. He's gonna have, like, three health when we're done to him. So you know how he's going to get taken down. Let's get a little bit of separation here. Let's unequip the saw blade mace and let's go ahead and take him out with a big old punch. Flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee, baby. All right. And nothing over here too noteworthy. I might start collecting some furs. I found a couple different furs and a couple different chests. So that could be a little promising avenue for us to go and collect for some fur armor for the north and potentially Christmas location. Because Christmas is coming. You guys saw the winter that's associated with it, so... It'd be good to stockpile on the furs to craft up the fur armor. So let's go and do exactly that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat up the rest of my banes we got. Definitely taking the cameras back home. I might pass on the phones. I'll pick them up for now. I might like, eh, I don't know. We'll see. What I know we could do is if we get another melee weapon. Actually, it doesn't even have to be melee. I could, eh, eh. Yeah, I'll put my jerky in there. I value that jerky rather highly. Thank you kindly. Uh, but I was going to say, we'll start grabbing up the rest of the things. Oh, nice. More phones. Okay, definitely worth it to take home. Like seven phones for sure. We could get an electronic circuit out of that with a pretty decent chance uh, over here. E not so much. Uh, what about over here? Maybe. A little bit better luck. No way. We got some aluminum wire and some more fur and some more phones. Can't complain about any of those. We already broke into this one. We got some wrenches, which we could definitely trade in. A little bit more to the fur as well. And let's see. Just do a final check here. We're not missing anything we could potentially trade into the mechanic. Like bigger stuff. I'm talking like chopper parts when I say that. Not to be confused with like all the random stuff like transistors. Because each transistor gets us like a point of mechanic, you know? And uh, well, we need about 500 mechanic points for one mechanics box. So, you know... Yeah, no. All right. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and soften up a couple of the things that we are looking to break over here as well. We'll break this one first. That should be pretty quick. And ooh, we got some nails. Okay, okay. And then after that's broken, there are a couple of other things I want to break. Let's get one chop off on the recycler. We'll check what that's about. We could even get the big one stuck in the doghouse, which will make the finish of this raid pretty easy. And then this could have some decent stuff. This could have some decent stuff. And this could have some decent stuff. And remember, workbenches only take one chop to go ahead and turn them into their quote-unquote fragile state. The fragile state being the state where it's one chop away from being absolutely obliterated. So let's go and pick up some of those. All in all, let's hit take all on every single chest. Just make sure that we aren't missing anything that we could potentially stack. Also, thank you for the rest of your baked beans, boy. I will eat some of those. And again, this is just a good little thing to do. You know, if you do have some time in the midst of a raid, just go through each one. Hit take all when your inventory is full because once it's full, you know, look at that. Boom, stack of nails. Ugh. Feels good, man, because once it's full, like, you're not going to be taking on anything extra. You're just going to be filling up any potential stacks, which is never a bad thing. And, oh, look at that. She filled up just a little bit. What is this, 18 green coupons? Yeah, I'm a little bit. Yeah, I'll leave those behind. We got a lot of green coupons. Not going to lie. I'm running a little bit low on duct tape at home. So, for now, just for personal reasons, I'm going to prioritize those. And we are going to begin the great breaking spree of 2018! Anything good? Nope, absolutely nothing. Let's go and I'm going to break up the rest of these. And then we're just going to try and get the big one stock. Jess, Jess, okay. I'm just going to run down here. We'll check out the recycler. And as soon as we can get... Oi, don't hit me! Okay, you only did 19 damage. This should go pretty well. The toxic abominations might get some hits off on us, but that won't be too big of a deal. We're going to go check the recycler, check the other stuff, and as long as the big one's not wailing on us during it, we going to be good, baby, because the toxics, the, the abominations can do some damage. They're not too awful. Um, okay, so I'm going to wait for him to get to us here. Maybe, can I, like, he, he might still teleport. Yeah, he still teleports pretty shortly after that. Okay, let's just get back in here then really quickly. 
Eat up some jerky. Bring that up to full. Oi, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let's just... Whoop, whoop. Hold on. I'm just trying to make sure that we don't get stuck over there, which is a little bit what I'm worried about. Whoop. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's why. That's why. I just... I don't want to get stuck in the doghouse because that is how people definitely die. And I'm going to eat the rest of this jerky really quickly. Check that. Nothing amazing. Check that. Nothing amazing. Check that. Nothing amazing. Let's heal and let's get the hell out of Dodge. With the loot that is ours now, and with that, so with that done, if that's gonna start bringing an end to this episode of the Last Day on Earth Survival, thank you guys a whole ton for tuning in. Genuinely do appreciate it. Best of luck to you guys in that $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway that I was talking about a little bit earlier. Can't wait to hear what y'all gotta say about that bow string and about the machetes that we were showing off just a bit earlier, not to mention any other things that you may or may not have noticed. And remember, boys, this update is close, and like I'm saying. Given what we've seen in the past, I'd say this week is a decent week to eye. It's been a while since the Chopper update. They've released that huge kind of like 30 second teaser trailer. Usually when they release a longer trailer like that, it tends to signal that it is close. So very soon we will have some Christmas events to go ahead and have fun and add some active skill mods and many other good looking things well that's it with that done that's gonna start bringing an end to this episode best of luck to you guys and gals getting the chopper gas tank and joining the chopper squadron best of luck breed your pup getting your true friend perk loving up your own perks and skills not to mention finding the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got best of luck building up your base going on the dopest of raids defeating all the bosses the game has to throw at you getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolute favorite because time all throughout but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching huh this was an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya